doesn't matter, whatever. This type this type of food poisoning made me eat shit for three days. Your whole Not hockey kidding. team watched the OC. Yeah. That's... Just boys being boys, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's a loose one tonight. <laughs> I saw one on my street. I swear it's true. He had a small little hat. His horns were blue. <laughs> All right, that's how it's gonna start, huh? What song is that? I believe it was. Nah, <laughs> believe. You got no answers for me. <laughs> been singing that all week um i think it's like a, I, I think it's that crow lady oh is it cheryl crow i think it's the crow yeah I, love, I always think like when someone goes like when someone's like yeah i'm into rock and roll me too cheryl crow baby <laughs> cheryl crow for life hell yeah dude. love that hard rock dude what's her fucking name i've like there was like a week period where for every day for a week i listened to uh, i think her name's paula cole where have all the cowboys gone ah yes <laughs> I'll go do the dishes. While you go have a beer. Yeah, all those fucking... Yeah. They're all the same, right? <laughs> all women singers, they're all the same, right? It's all well, the exact same. No, there was, like a, there was a period between like 98 and 2002 where it was like that was... For some reason, I don't know. There was that very. There was also that style. song like, "I'm a bitch, I'm yeah. a bitch, I'm a bitch, <laughs> what yeah. a bitch." And that song, I feel like it was just a girl trying to like. I think enough people will think I'm an Alanis Morissette that right. this will sell some records. Like I think enough people will be convinced <laughs> that I am actually an Alanis, yeah. and I'll get a gold record from it. I think she probably did. I heard that song enough that I believe it's uh, it's famous. Sometimes I, I wonder. Uh, if these songs are known outside of Canada, because we talked about the CRTC rule last time where it's like 30% Canadian. Like, I, I don't know who's Canadian. You know what I mean? Like, is that yeah, I'm a bitch true. lady Canadian? Is uh, Paul look like, where have all the cowboys gone Canadian? It's very possible. I don't know. Very true. I mean, I thought the band that um, the, the Joe Biden band. Oh, the New Radicals? I thought they were Canadian. Yeah. I guess they were definitely not. Not. <laughs> that would make no sense. <laughs> oh, man. I, I saw this, like, uh, I saw this tweet uh, that was, like, just, like, a history of iced tea being, like, you know who's good? The New Radicals. <laughs> it's, like, he said it on Conan in, like, 98. And then he tweeted about it in, like, 2009. And then he tweeted again about, it. like, he's just, like, he fucking loves that song, You Get What You Give or whatever. Such a You know, it's a good song. <laughs> You know what I couldn't believe is also I, I heard a quick a quick clip of it uh, performed live for the in, uh, inauguration. Right. And uh, there's no chance that is not the exact same radio <laughs> edit that they played years ago. Like I don't even think they pretended to make a new version. Yeah. He's just like, look, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna sound like that anymore. Also, it's not a band. They keep on saying the band's back together. It's really just him. It's, it's a just singer, him yeah. And his dumb hat. He just yeah. still has the same hat. What does he have a bucket hat? Him. I don't know. It's dumb. Uh, I got one hand in my pocket, and the other one's also in my pocket. <laughs> and it's checking out. <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? Fuck. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so you're saying that it was all lip sync, like uh, like Ashley Simpson on SNL? Yeah, but she just... she just, she. just You know what's I, funny about that one is that like it's one thing to get like caught lip sync. It's another one to like really just make it so much worse. <laughs> yeah, by making that face of like that white person uh, in the office face of like, hmm, you know, like, uh, yeah. and then just dancing like a little, f like the fucking frog <laughs> at the end of the Warner Brothers cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> and then she just like runs off stage right? yeah. or something like that. Yeah, so uh, she, she made it such a joke. So like if you're like someone like Mariah Carey, you just, you know, you just smile it off. Yeah, she you're like, you know what? I didn't feel like singing today. Fuck you guys. She hasn't sang a note since 1997. Right. You know what I mean? So you got to just follow. I think J-Lo also definitely was probably. I, it's like she's like singing. I did like not singing. take in a second of any of the inauguration or anything. So I have no. I just watched the clips. I watched okay. the, the highlight clips. Um, it's just it's sad to me. Like it's just it, it it's like I'm happy, very happy. Trump's not there anymore. But at the same time, it, it, this whole celebrity just like kissing yes, each other's yeah, ass yeah. is being like, yeah. yes, we made it. We're the we're here for the world. And it's like, shut the. Fuck it's the same up, shit, you know? man. It's, it's fucking crazy. Uh, I was thinking like that. You know, I was talking about that Wonder Woman movie I saw, Woman Wonder Woman 1984, and um, it's been getting pretty rough reviews. But mainly because it's like it's essentially the exact same thing as the Gal Gadot Imagine video. 
Right. It is a <laughs> bunch of rich, beautiful, the best of like the luckiest of the one percents right. telling everybody else, just be happy with what you have. Okay. Be happy with what you got. Right. Yeah. Just be happy. And it's like, are you kidding? You have everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, there's this guy, I lo- like Rob Delaney is a, is a Kim, like an a LA comedian moved to the UK and then like had a show that was really funny called Catastrophe on Amazon and like on in the UK or whatever. And mm-hmm. so, and he's been like he's also had like roles in like I think Deadpool maybe and Ant Man and shit like that, and then like, and he's very outspoken about you know healthcare reform and shit like that, and uh, they're like they were talking about like oh whatever it's gonna cost it's cost too much to have Medicare for all or whatever and he's like money doesn't matter and it's like. You know, there's no money's made up. There's no such thing as money. It's like, yeah, it's easy to say that when you live in fucking London and you have millions of dollars from this windfall that's happened that's happened upon you over the last decade. You know, like man, so fucked. Yeah. Uh, what I was gonna say before is on the other end of the spectrum of like the lip syncing thing. Have you ever seen like Muse? It's you. <laughs> eh? The other end of the spectrum is you. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Have you ever seen Muse on an Italian like talk show where they had to perform and they like made them lip sync, so they just all switched instruments? No, I don't know. But yeah, I, but pretty... that, I like the Muse. Is the, they're cool, right? They. I don't the... give a shit about Muse. I, I... Hey, is that them? No, that's that's <laughs> that's Radiohead. I was thinking Radiohead. I I was listening. I heard a Muse song in in the car the other day, and I I I pinpointed it. What it is is the lead singer sounds like a gay sorcerer Disney villain. Is what he sounds like. <laughs> he sounds well, a little it? bit. He sounds like he's got a secret spell, and he looks like like under you know like he's about to like enchant you with something. And he yeah. sounds like he's wearing just a black suit with purple print stripes and a little bowler hat with a purple feather and a little cane with a, like with a serpent at the end that like becomes real. That's the vibe he gives <laughs> off when he sings. I want to find. Do, do you know what he looks like? I he no looks like what I just like. said. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I don't like what he looks like at all. Right? He looks exactly like what I just said. He looks like he looks like he has. He just knows magic, but for real. Yeah, he also looks like he can be like the host of like uh, of like um, some cheesy show on like the like on MTV. He's got like a, a cheesy look to him. Right, that doesn't make me happy. Yeah, welcome to Fuck Cabin, <laughs> yeah, exactly. where the cabin fucks you. Get a splinter in your dick with the <laughs> Fuck Cabin. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. I don't. Uh, he also like got like got that uh, Billy Joel, uh, not Billy Joel. What's the guy? The scene, the, the the Green Day loser. What's Billy Joe, close. B- Billy, Billy. I always Joe. thought it was Billy Joel Armstrong, but it's Billy Joe right. Armstrong, who I've heard apparently notoriously has one of the smallest dicks in all of uh, like Hollywood and shit. I mean that makes sense. That's why he's so nasally. That's because he's because <laughs> he's singing right from the tip of his dick. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, that's they, a good yoga. That. That's uh, that's how you breathe in yoga. Breathe in through your nose and out through your dick. Then they, this. Uh, the, Green Day was like such – when they came out with uh, that album, like I was too young for it when it came out. Uh, Green Day's Dookie, like yeah. was – I was like too – like my sister bought it and I was like, oh my god, this is the most badass band yeah, in yeah, the world. Yeah. Like they were so – and like I remember they had a song called uh, – a hidden song on the back of their al- – on the end of the album called All By Myself and it sounded like – Ernie from Ernie the Bird just about to masturbate. He's like, no one was looking. I was all by myself. Really? And it was just, yeah. And 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 in the back of the cover, there's like this crowd going crazy, and someone has an Ernie puppet on his hand okay. while like in the crowd. So it was all. And I was like, this is the coolest band <laughs> in the fucking world. Fast forward ten years later, they became the cheesiest yeah. joke of rock. Yeah, that like has ever fucking, existed. Oh, your your album is a rock opera. Suck it. Yeah. Suck it. Suck yeah. it. They do have, you know, where they get credit for me. The what? only reason place is because uh, you back jack when off Simon, the time of your life every night. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh shit, this is Trey Cool. Yeah, oh, that's go the, that's the basis his yeah. name or whatever. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well played. Uh, but was when they um when when Seinfeld ended before the season finale, there was like a half an hour, an hour special of like going through Seinfeld, like the times, like you know, and at the end of the of the end of the episode before the finale, they had this montage of like filming Seinfeld right. and they played it to time of your life but it was probably the first time anyone's ever heard this song like I think right. it was before it was even released on the album you know right. so like everyone was like oh my god yeah. okay. <laughs> like everyone was crying at home it was a very depressing sad time I think I woke up the dog <laughs> don't she, she's not a big fan of Green Day shut up it's me 
No one should be a big fan of Green Day. They yeah. suck. Uh, what else was I gonna say? Fuck. Oh, but that was like that was like an era of like the hidden song was big. Eh? like Blink One Eighty Two had like songs about fucking dogs and shit like that. And uh, I feel like the Offspring also probably had some hidden songs. That was my like, whoa, this is fucking sick. That Offspring cover that had like the kid on the swing and like that green like uh, oh, like yeah, alien yeah. monster going up toward. Yeah. Talk about bands falling off of the rock wagon. That's uh. That's one of them for sure. Offspring, like they were so badass. I went to one of their concerts. Like it was the scariest thing I'd ever been to. It was like a mosh pit. I thought, <laughs> yeah. thought I was gonna die. I wrote my will out. Uh, I was so scared. And then, uh, and then, like a year later, like give it to me, baby. Uh huh. Oh, that's what uh-huh. I grew up though. That's what I grew up with. Oh yeah, that's what yeah. they were a joke, and they were like, oh, they became they, they had a cover to Obla Di Obla Da. <laughs> right. Like, what is wrong with this band? They yeah. like, literally sold out so hard it was the craziest. thing. But they thing. said bitch how- in a song, dude. And I was eight years old. It was the sickest thing. We got away with playing it at like the end of the year fourth grade party where there was like pizza and like a boombox and everyone's doing the best band- dance moves. You know, everyone's got everyone's unzipping the the shin part of their cargo pants. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just having the just having the time of their life, you know. That's badass. I like yeah. those fads back in the yeah in, the, in those. Days. You know, what was a big fad for us. Um, snap pants. Do you ever? Yeah, you of ever course, man. You just unsnap, snap pants? dude. You go to school with snap pants on. You're like, I'm the sickest kid in school, and then like one guy's just like, you're fucking dead. Come here, loser, and just unsnaps your whole pants in front of all the girls, and you're fucked. Fuck. It's such a great way of play of, of knowing where you were on the popularity uh, level, like where you where you stood. Is that if you could if you couldn't go a full day with snap without your snap pants being ripped off, right. you were a, a low <laughs> you were a low fish. You know you were you were in the feeding pond. But, but if you were the type of person who could comfortably walk around with just underwear and snap pants right. all day long, man, you were like that's that's confidence. Yeah, but I mean they got stuck on shit too. Like you'd walk and then you're like, what's that breeze? And it's just your whole whole thigh is exposed you know yeah i get an erection and it just the pressure would rip the pants open <laughs> so yeah, like, yeah. my dick's so big <laughs> no no it's because it's small and dense like a diamond that's why no <laughs> yeah no yeah, that's yeah, yeah. not why yeah that's not why it's like all. a diamond no. so oh, it's yeah it's a bunch of carbon that's what you <laughs> your dick is just dense carbon <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah it's what's uh it's got the density of a dying sun where do i get that from a dying planet is that uh, one of your jokes? Yeah, I, I, I forget, man. I forget what <laughs> it is. I'm pretty sure it's funny. Yeah. I was like, did I get this completely wrong? I'm pretty sure it's... I don't remember I'm, what... I remember saying those words, but <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, what's that? What was that a tag to? You don't even remember. I don't remember, fucking right? remember, man. That's crazy. Like, the other day, I was like thinking back at some jokes, and I remembered an old version of a joke, and I couldn't remember the new tags that came to it. You know what I mean? Like, what I did... What was you? Eh? What was heavy? Oh, it's dying. It's killing me. I can't Fuck it. Whatever. What it doesn't was. matter. This is horrible yeah, podcasting. Okay. Unless unless someone knows, remembers the joke and wants to send us a message about it. I don't remember. Man. Okay. How was your How's your little weekend? Week arena. Weekend arena. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're not gonna be friends for very much longer if. Uh, how is that's your, your weekend new- arena? I think this is also like the danger for you is what? that if you don't hang out with people and you don't do comedy and you're not around much cooler people than you, you're going to just revert into the loser that you were destined to become your whole right. life. So you better watch out. You better continue. Like this cool, is good. Once cool once a week with loser. me is good. <laughs> once a week with me is good. It's upping your value. It yeah. keeps you in the know. Uh-huh. It keeps you <laughs> in the system. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I like that. Oh, we should also talk about uh, it's been a hard week for Jason because the local uh, legend uh, comedy nest like the the, the, the comedy nest didn't didn't share one of my tweets on Facebook. They pretty much announced that they think Jason's Twitter is crap. They <laughs> right. pretty much made an announcement. Yeah. They said, because they said, like, there's not that many comedians with with Twitter accounts that have a lot, that many jokes on it. So they were like, we're just going to show the ones that we think are worth showing. Right, and, and mine the ones, was not on there? Yeah, well, because he's aware of yours. That's what's crazy. You know he is. He just probably, he probably went to your account, looked, and was like, I, these are all just facts. <laughs> and then right. Just, and then just left. Yeah, I don't think you've been looking at my Twitter lately, man. It's been doing all right. <laughs> all right. I have 360 followers, and I get a dozen likes a tweet. It's actually you do. I, I get jealous when I see the the action that you get. Oh, sometimes. The action, fuck off, yeah. man. But that you know what? Like I I do know like there's a Toronto guy who had the same amount of like whatever. If like he figured out the system how to get followers, you just basically you uh, go to one of our friends' uh, Twitters, Harrison. 
and you yeah. follow every single person that likes one of his tweets and half of them will follow you back. So you just do that mm. 10,000 times. You'll get 5,000 followers within a few months. I just don't have, I tried to do that with our Instagram and it was fucking tiring. Yeah. So I'm not going to do that with my Twitter. Harrison is like the gatekeeper. It's like if he likes one of you, if you retweet yes, one of yeah. your tweets, you're like, yeah. yeah the only ones that, that have like hundreds of uh, likes on my tweets are the ones that he retweeted. The certified by Harrison tweets. Well, that's good. Um, Whatever. I, I do. I, I'm not a great Twitter. Yeah, I know. You're horrible at it. Hey, that's not true. No, you're horrible at it. Great, Stick to I Photoshop's, got, bitch. I got some great zingers in there, man. Yeah. I got some of my favorite jicks in there that I really enjoy. So. What's the difference between jam and jelly? That's that's. I remember when we first met. You told me that like it was the first joke. Right. Shut the fuck up. Like you wrote it. <laughs> What'd you like, do this weekend? Um, Nothing. the weekend's long gone, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I went. I went um, grocery shopping. <laughs> nice. Uh, which is nice. There's a. Uh, it's nice to get out of the house. Yeah. It's the only thing to do. There is. Turns out there's a little bit of a, a hack. I didn't know if you live in the Montreal area and you ever want to go downtown. There's an Adonis, which is a, yeah. a great, a great a, um, grocery store. Uh, they have parking for free, and they don't even ask for a receipt or anything. So oh. essentially, it's just free parking downtown, uh, <laughs> and they just hope that their clients use that it. you go <laughs> shop. Yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, what are you gonna go do downtown right now? Stare at uh, empty buildings. Oh, right now, nothing. But okay. this is their rule in general. Okay, like, yeah. It's not like they decide to turn off now. But I went to the SAQ. Nice. And I murdered a few homeless people, you know, <laughs> yeah. regular downtown stuff. I stuffed one in a porta potty left it there. They, yeah. I think they think he died of natural causes. But right. <laughs> joke's on them! <laughs> it's the, well, have you watched Night Stalker on Netflix? Yeah, that's kind of what I was basing yeah. it on. Um, but you got the, yeah. the, shit, the, the shit potty stalker? Man, Night Stalker, if you hey, you want to lose your faith in women for the rest of your life, watch Night Stalker. Oh, that, yeah, the girls who are like big fans of him at the end who are like, I'll show you my tits, Richard crazy. Ramirez. He raped children. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's like, there's Insane. one thing to be a badass. It's another thing to to be a pedophile. <laughs> it's, cra- it's crazy to me. I Listen. Mean, like, did Jared, did Jared from, from Subway have like huge Probably. fans? Like, oh, he's so badass. He bucks kids. He's so badass. Yeah. Yeah. And also, uh, it, not too much mayo on the flatbread. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just, I just talking couldn't... to the Subway cashier. You're also a big fan. I take it. I hate that. I, uh, the thing and, is, but the also, nice all the girls who were into Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker, all look like uh, what's the Water Boys' girlfriend, Vicky yeah, yeah, Valentine. Yeah. They all yeah, look no, like her. Not really. A lot of them, some of them are like very surprising. It's it's yeah, crazy, right. and and it's just um, a, nu- a nutty thing. It was. It's a great story. The end. It's, it's the best ending to any. Oh yeah, story murder. Ever. Yeah, just the mob justice almost, but with that with a little bit of uh, regular justice too. Yeah, and what's great about it, like, and if you don't know the story, go watch it on Netflix. Uh, but uh, I'm going to spoil it anyways. Yeah. Uh, so a bunch of like, basically, they put his picture in the in the paper, and then he, he didn't even know, you know, like he had no idea they were really even that on to him. And then all of a sudden, he's just on the bus, and his face and is everywhere. It's like one of those movies. You <laughs> yeah, know? it is. And exactly everyone's like staring that. at him. He gets off the bus, and people are still following him as he's trying to walk away. So he tries to get into a car, and he doesn't work out. He finally ends up just running from street to street, and then all just. It's like a snowball of people. Like more people recognize him. Everyone just yeah. gets together, and then That's he's like the a fucking guy. Arrest. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's it's the best thing ever. It's yeah. it's hilarious, and it's also really funny because I'm pretty sure the cops gave a lot of shit to the press. Right? They were talking yeah. about it like you're giving away our leads. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, How about he gets caught in four seconds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we put it out there. You fucking yeah. It's idiot. it's like putting it out on Twitter. You know, it's like you know, fucking immediately. Uh, it's real. It's really the smell. S- like eh. I was gonna say like everything they say he does, you're always like you're like oh that's awful, that's awful, that's awful, and then they're like and then when they talk about his smell for some reason, yeah. it makes him a worse person. <laughs> like, I know. It makes him all even more evil. And like his teeth are rotting and shit, and it's like how yeah this guy's the persona, he's the devil incarnate, he's rotting from the inside. Uh, he's also such a loser. He was man. Uh, yeah, he wasn't cool at all. That's the official friendship hour take on that. Just uh, the way he's like anarchy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The rule. devil sent me. What a fucking that bitch. line. Oh my, I would like if like if I think even if I was scared for my life and I was like if I was like, <laughs> I pray to like save me God. He like or I pray to like I, I pray to God and he goes pray to <laughs> Satan. I just start laughing. I'd be like <laughs> that. Then I would just laugh. I'd be like kill me, but that's hilarious. You're a loser, dude. That's right. hilarious. <laughs> uh, 
I was gonna say the the one thing I found cool too is that like you know whenever you watch like a cop movie where it's like uh, I'm too old for, you know I. I, I can't take another case like this. And it's like, who works on that many cases and like that with serial killers and shit? There's no way. And then you find out that it happened to this one cop on this case. He like, he like put away the hillside strangler. Then he's got the fucking Night Stalker back to back. It's like, your life is every single movie. He's drinking scotch during the interviews. He's got a, he's bald with a mustache. He just looks like, just like he looks like you in 15 years, except badass. <laughs> yeah, ass. I, I hope so. I hope I hope to God I look like that. I, I, I probably will look more like the other cop is the truth. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get your hair back. And... <laughs> the other cop, he's, he's my favorite because he's such a uh, Hispanic yeah, right? he's a Hispanic man, but he says things like, "and I and I was like tickled me, yeah. I couldn't believe." It. I was like, "Man, you have been conformed yeah. to the worst degree." It's it's like, I grew up on the streets. So I was like, "Orale, Holmes," you know, only on the streets you hear "Orale, Holmes," and he's like, it's "Like, dude, I." I, I, I don't that's know, the just, saddest part. Like he's a successful cop who made, like, you know, who made it through the rounds from being just like a street cop to becoming detective. Like his dream job, a homicide detective. He's a Hispanic dude. Not easy for like minorities to make right. it through the rings. But how did he do it? By acting like a white person. Right. <laughs> by every accord. By making it. If you closed your eyes, you were positive that you were dealing with uh, Ned Flanders. I'll be you know gosh I mean? darn if I didn't catch this one uh, perpetrator. Yeah. That line makes me laugh so hard. First of all, you're Mexican. You'll never be pink. Okay, so it's like it's you won't be. You won't get tickled pink. You'll be. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know. I've never tickled a Mexican man. I feel like you've never tickled or been tickled in your life. Like, no, I, I like don't the, believe in tickling. You look like the type of person that's never been it's, tickled. Tickling's actually a, it's a it's a it's mind over matter. So if uh, you can actually uh, will yourself to not be tickled, it's true. So it's is true. anal. That's what I. <laughs> so is anal. <laughs> yeah, it's all, it's all mine over matter. Oh, speaking of pink, uh, I went to get some bagels, and is that in reference to the pink or the anal? I'm not. <laughs> that just pink, tickled pink. Okay. Right. Uh, I went to get some bagels at the the, the neighborhood uh, bagel place, which is pretty. Yeah, you did. It was it's pretty good bagels, pretty good What's stuff. What's it called? Villamard bagels. It's good. Okay. Um, sure. it's good stuff. I went, but I went there, and like behind the counter is like this this burly guy with like a pink just pink just like whiskey face you know big okay. bulbous nose and there's one lady in front of us getting served and as she's walking like they're talking the cash like the cash guy making the bagels and, and her uh, and that, as she's walking out he just yells hey are you irish and she turns back and she's like no polish she's like Okay, because from the accent, I thought maybe you were Irish. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> and then I go up to the fucking cash, and I grab, like, a, like they have the bagels from that morning, right? And I grab a six-pack of, uh, of All Dressed, you know, because I yeah. like those onion flakes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, uh, it comes out to, like, whatever, five fifty. And he's like, minimum seven for Deb. And then he throws a cookie at me. It's like, seven bucks, here you go. <laughs> Didn't let me pick cookie. the cookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just throws a fucking macadamia nut white white chocolate cookie at me. I didn't get to pick whichever fucking cookie I wanted. He just throws the cookie at me. Seven bucks. See ya. It's not even a real rule. It's not. A, it, they're making up rules. <laughs> I know. There's no way that they're doing anything under five. They can do it for two dollars. It's yeah. stupid. I I I'll don't send think... you an e transfer, you idiot. Yeah. <laughs> do they get charged for a debit? I think it's just a credit transaction you get charged yeah. for. Yeah. Right? It's just bullshit. They're liars. <laughs> Whatever. I like. I'll, I'll support that guy, man. Just yelling. What are you, Irish? No, respect no Polish. Another one of my best friends is moving. It just bought a house. Yeah. All my friends are moving into houses, making me jealous, man. It's Where are they buying? Uh, uh, Brassard. Oh damn. Okay, South Shore. Fucking, you're jealous of that? Yeah, I think that's the choice. I think really? that's the decision. Well, yeah. I mean, it's like he spent. Le he paid less than you and has triple the amount of space. You're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> I don't like think huge so. Huge backyard. He's got four rooms, garage. Right. Uh, like it's it's and he's and they bought it for less than you did. Okay. Uh, and he's gonna put in like seventy into it, and he's gonna turn it into like oh, he's gonna the, not flip it, but like dreams. he's gonna okay. Interesting. Yeah, because like it's just like a shell to him. You know what I mean? It's like nice outside house, right structure, right in, like good enough right. area, right near the park. He's a big biker, so technically it's right on the path that goes into St. Henry. Like it's you know essentially um, from where? Well, it's the it's the like from the from Lachine. If you take the bike path and you take it to the South Shore, okay, that's pretty much where you end up. That sounds like a fucking trek, man. I'm I'm barely gonna bike to work. 
I'm not going to do that. But that's what the, the bikers, that's what they do. Yeah, right? sure. Like, like when cyclists, you're a biker yeah. in Montreal, the city's not that big. You know? No, you it's, wanna... it's good. But, man, I get to, my, to, to mile five. I'm like, I'm fucking, I'm, gonna, I'm ready to fucking throw this bike out. Dude, it's hilarious what these Fitbits and stuff like make people just like try to beat. They just want to like post a picture of a line going through the entire yes. city. I'm like, I'll fucking Photoshop it myself. I get that fucking <laughs> validation, you idiots. Yeah, you see um, someone run like both on like both ends back to back of the mountain. It's like no one asked you to do. Don't do yeah, that. Exactly. It's like who cares, dude? If you have to post it, fucking you're yeah. <laughs> let it go. You know what I mean? <laughs> just let the whole fucking thing go. But um. It's funny because so you so you bought it and like these are this is a couple that they're pretty pretty adamant about the idea that they're not gonna have kids and they're not like you know right. um, so why does he need four they, bedrooms for right I I they, he they make good money and I was really sure they were gonna live in the city forever because all they want is a backyard for their dogs but the idea of having three four bedrooms makes no sense to me you know and a full basement and all this stuff but he's like talking about having the workspace area for all his tools and he has a room he does because he's a biker in the winter he does the he has that computer that shows you the courses of the world and you bike with all your idiot loser friends who are wearing leotards in their in their living room pretending okay, that he's like a Tour peloton cyclist or whatever the fuck yeah yeah he bought okay. the whole outfit he looks like an idiot you know but he <laughs> loves it Eventually, you get to an age where there's nothing left in life. You have to find stupid things like this to become. Oh yeah, like today, know? like for like an hour today, I was imagining like moving to a farm where I had my own hogs and I could kill yeah. for my for my own pancetta. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like just a bunch of hogs and I grow to love them. I'm like, all right, well, it's time to turn you into fucking bacon. Let's do this, you know? Yeah, build a moat around it, ride the gondola around. There like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just a moat around a fucking place. That's sick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so, and then, but it's funny because he's talking about the place and its value in the future or whatever, but he was telling me, like, again, they have a good amount of money, so I was surprised they chose that area because they don't need kids, they don't, like, need so much space, right. but he's talking about how they're going to turn one into an office, and they're going to take the one room down completely to make one very large living space, and then he's going to build a glass wine cellar that's like like you know at restaurants when they have that like a room that's made out of glass where all the wine is coming? I know you've yeah. never been to a restaurant that no I, I don't before. know what you're talking about McDonald's doesn't have <laughs> the Olive Garden is the best you mean like uh, you mean like where they keep the condiments and the sodas <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You know, yeah. When I say more napkins and she disappears in the back area. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they're building an entire glass room with like where so you can see all their wine that they keep on display. And I was like, la- and again, I'm very cynical, you know, I'm very happy for them, but right. I'm like, what are you, a fucking Bond villain? Like, yeah. what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> He's like, no, it's gonna be amazing. I'm like, also, you're talking about upping the value. I don't know how many people <laughs> want a house with a wine cellar in the living room. You know what I mean? I mean, <sighs> fucking people who live in Brossard, I guess, which is all rich Asians. <laughs> I don't know. And so he was talking about, he's like, look, we have like, you know, we've already, we have a collection that we've amounted over time. We have over 200 bottles of wine. I'm like, yes, I, and I was like, I know you're alcoholics. And he, yeah. and he goes, he goes, no, like, it's like having a Bob Marley poster up when you're a pothead. It's the <laughs> same thing as like showing off all your fucking wine. Um, but I really thought that was pretty nutty. I mean, like I get, I, I get loving wine. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But holy shit. Like it's 200? not like, They'll, they'll drink a bottle of wine, but like, we love it, and they'll order like 17 the next day. And it's like they have nowhere to put it. They live in a place like as small as mine now. Right. And like half of it is just wine bottles. <laughs> like, it's crazy. It's insane how much wine they have. Uh, my sister like uh, ordered a little wine cellar for like her boyfriend for Christmas or something, like a little sure. wine fridge, I mean. Sorry? Yeah, they're good to have, yeah. And, uh, and it never – like it wasn't showing up, so she called and canceled the order. And, uh, and then they were like, okay, we'll send you another one. And then when it gets there, she's there's two of them. Oh my god! So uh, so I got a wine fridge coming. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Wow, sick. So they yeah, just yeah. sent her a new one without they, any questions. Yes, asked? I think it was the bay. Like they just they were like, oh, okay, got lost, and they just sent another one. Wow. What and uh, yeah, so uh, so so. Uh, so you'll be able to keep your 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 no two, bottles of wine. My two bottles of wine. The wine. My, you know what? The, this is what'll happen. My, you'll get a stri- bottle my of wine. Trail and and. Toro local. Kangaroo, kangaroo tail. Kangaroo yeah. tail, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, you're going to get one bottle of wine every Christmas from some weird person at work, and that'll be what will fill up your Hell yeah, dude. over the years. Yeah. That's my theory. That's fine. It's more than fine. How was your weekend? Did you do anything besides I just told bagels? you. I went to get bagels. <laughs> <laughs> Shitty. Uh, and, and then I bought some pancetta, and then uh, I bought some Portuguese bread. 
comedy's dead. Yeah, comedy's dead. Kill me right now. Oh, Wasted man. seven years of my life. You didn't do um, it for seven years, you bitch. Whatever, you know. Uh, What's his face? Jacob, uh, one of the, our comedian friends, Jacob yes. posted uh, a picture of uh, of, Jer- of Ben and Jerry's stand up yeah. flavored ice cream, and he wrote, "Tastes like seven years of what? like eight what years of my life wasted." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I loved it. I tried to repost it on my um, I I I'll re- to you know like repost it uh, <laughs> on my stories. <laughs> repost it where, sir? On my story on yeah. Instagram. Yeah, but it reposted it without his caption, which. Uh, not oh, funny. The, yeah, <laughs> you know, what's the just, point? Just the picture of the ice cream. I, it was up for like 20 minutes. What a stupid realize. feature. Yeah. I was like, I need the fucking funniness of the whole goddamn thing place. Yeah. Of oh, the whole goddamn thing place. Um, I'm thinking about making a, making a, a script. What do you think, Jason? You want to write a script with me? Uh, I've, been th- I've been thinking about some sketch ideas. By that, I mean I had one sketch idea, and I don't want to divulge it on the podcast yet because uh, okay. I'm, well, not, I'm not confident in, at all. You, you, you're cooking it up. <laughs> yeah. But okay. I, I don't know. I found the – I know, like, you don't, I don't need it because uh, we have phones now that, that shoot video. But, like, a couple years – like, three four years ago, with my credit card points, I got a, a digital uh, camcorder, and I finally fixed it because it wasn't working for a long for the longest time. And I finally fixed it, and reformatted, it so it works on a Mac, and uh, yeah, so I have that now. So I was thinking about using that to to shoot some shit. She use that now. What with what? Can with you a- u- can you use it live as your as your can as your? <sighs> I don't know. I haven't I haven't figured that out yet. Meanwhile, your quality is pretty good. You're using um, a new Mac, same as yours. You got. You got a brand new Mac for no reason. For um, no reason. This is you're like uh, we, I think I already went over the the hilarity of you spending money on something you really don't need just because you're trying to stay akin to whatever. Like you know, like I, you see a picture of I, yourself with a computer. It's a Mac, so you need to make sure you spend an extra fifteen hundred dollars. Well, first of all, I like I like I got used to Macs. Okay, yeah. I like it. Okay. I would I use a Windows for work all the time, and it's fucking it sucks shit. I hate it. That's also so you actually. Now you're forced to use a certain platform for the rest of your life, pretty much. But you're still deciding to go different platform for your own personal stuff. Yes, and, and uh, wh- by the way, let's also talk about what your own personal stuff is. It's GayBoys.com, <laughs> and I didn't know GayBoys.com runs better on a Mac. I had no idea. <laughs> you're saying it's GameBoy.com, okay? <laughs> no, I, I no, play no, my that's Pokemon not what I said. emulator, and <laughs> that's not what I said. And I try to, uh, and I start okay. with Pikachu. Also, what is your background today? I don't. Uh, I googled kind of, you and I put the Google image search as my background. Which, I by the way, it's I, very interesting that I don't know if you can see it. I, I think it's above this hand over here. Uh, there's yeah. a drawing of you, and with yeah. it, you can't see it on the screen, but you drew yourself with hair. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> when I had hair, Jason. <laughs> that's how old this is. Yeah, that's from when I. Uh, that's from my. I think the first website I ever made. I use that, uh, I think, on the on the image. I never realized what a terrorist I look like in it. I don't look happy at all. It's a funny image to decide to use to put on my portfolio to be like, look yeah. how unhappy I look am. Look how dead my eyes are. Yeah, exactly. Um, you can but see the I will souls say, of the children have suffocated. I am happy that my personal website is the first to pop in on all this SEO stuff. <laughs> and bad. I do like <laughs> that the rest of it is all comedy pretty much oriented. Yeah, which it's is not bad. bad. Whereas mine is half comedy, half Celine Dion. <laughs> is that what it is? I think so. It used to be. I don't know. I haven't Googled myself in a while. Google it. I'm going to Google myself right I'll now. I'll do a... Do you have like, do you have like a, a Google alert set up for your name or something like that? I, I don't. Should I? Neither. I? No, I was just thinking maybe... Well, I know because nobody gives a shit about us, but I guess we should put one up for friendship hour just in case... Just in case someone starts talking to try to cancel us. But I mean, if someone's trying to cancel to us and and we don't hear about it, then they're not doing a very good job of it. What are they going to cancel us for? <laughs> I don't know all the jokes you make about me, me being gay. What do you mean? That's why we're a good because we're a diverse podcast. I'm a straight guy <laughs> and a gay guy, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, I think that's that's the way it is. That's my Nixon. What do you think? I am not a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he'd be right, right? I am not a Jew. That's the one time he wasn't lying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, we got our first lag there. But I don't think... Oh, they won't hear it. I shouldn't mention it. I forgot. No, you're fine. I forgot. I, I blew it. <laughs> he blew it hard, dude. Blew it. What else? Um, 
What else, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> what else is happening, dude? Make me laugh. No, nah, dude. It's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, watching uh, ho- you watching hockey at all? Yeah, I mean, uh, I am an old bitch now, and uh, the the two games that were like that were at like nine thirty and ten p.m. I fell asleep oh, watching it. Like I I couldn't even like commit to sitting on the couch, so I, I I found a stream and put it on my phone on the on the nightstand and just fell asleep watching watching hockey. Like putting it on your phone is pretending you're. You might as well listen to it on the radio. It's like such a ridiculous way to watch. I mean, full but, um, screen when the phone's at your face. It's the same thing as watching it on your laptop. What Ten. do you watch on you? Do you have a good link? Or yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you. Okay, all right. I'll send you some mine's, shit. Mine's a little SD, so I'd like some HD. Oh, I got some yeah. HD for you. Some heavy dick. Yeah. Heavy hey. dick. Uh, yeah. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, I was watching, and it is very entertaining that some guy is just in charge of the crowd. Right, yes. There's some guy who's just, like, in charge of the entire crowd reaction. Yeah. So it just means that his reaction is just tenfold. <laughs> yeah, you know I know. What I mean? It's just it's one like, guy, whoa. essentially. You press the is, whoa button, press the, like, yeah. boo button. Yeah, that's sick. It's, it's just like, one guy going, oh! <laughs> Great. Have you ever like have you ever like sat like at the Bell Center or something at a huge concert where there's like the light guy like in mm-hmm. the middle of the floor there's like the guys who are in charge of the lights and shit and they're basically playing an instrument. They're just like going at the fucking lights like yeah. like it's a piano keyboard. It's sick. Yeah. It's like that but for noise. So it's like an instrument <laughs> is what I'm saying. I don't remember what it's from, uh, but there's something. There's one thing that's like he's like, you know that, and like someone's like, do you, like do you ever have any dreams of what you want to do with your life? And you're like, you know, at a rock concert, you know, like when it's all dark and then the rock, then the rock star just steps on stage and the light points at him and the audience just goes nuts. I've always wanted to be the guy pointing that light. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the best. I don't remember. I feel like it's Wayne's World, but I have no idea. I. I don't know, but I mean, I, I get it. It's like you go to theater production school, and then it's like, what are the what are the jobs that you can get after that? You know what I mean? There's nothing besides, yeah. like, unless you want to become, like, a community theater, or you want to do the lights at the burlesque show at Vaudeville. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. At the Wiggle Room in Montreal, you know? Like, they take it so seriously, the I, Oh, there, my though. God. Those guys it's lose, hilarious. like, a thousand calories running around, fucking pointing shit, and, like, yeah, they're, they're working. It is when you're in the amateur performance business, it is hilarious how fucking serious it is taken for fucking 17 or even less people. It's sometimes it's very, very funny, but it is what it is. And I guess by taking it seriously, there's blah, 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 blah. And that's I mean, that happens. room when it's not minus 40 outside does well. They do like six to sure, 70 people. Sure, it's but, like a little club, but, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Fine, 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 fine. You're going to make fun of your home club like you. that? Um, yeah, that's my club. That's right. I fucking own that place. Yeah. I've actually thought about it more, and the more I think about it, if you win at the Wiggle Room, it's actually because you kind of sucked. Okay? Yeah. Because you I've get seen pitiful. the worst stories. The winners win over there. Just the saddest fucking comedy stories where it's just nothing but woe is me. I'm a little bitch. The winner usually gets a he tried so hard kind of vibe. You yes. know what I mean? Like that's yeah. that. It's not even the most talented. It's just like the most like newest that looks like he improved in his like. You know what I mean? It's it's not. I, a I mean, compliment. I say this as someone who's never come close to winning over there. So yeah. So not even definitely. close. Like not even relatively. I don't think. Well, no. Actually, the the host would make a point of telling me every time I was close to placing. That's cute. That's yeah, nice. Of fuck that. Say. Just to make you feel good. That's yeah. nice. No, to make me feel Once, worse. Hey, here's how close you were to paying for your Uber ride back home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. For not because every drink there is fifteen dollars. Yeah. so you're broke as fuck now. Well, welcome. Um, yeah. So what are you gonna do? But still um, a great show. Great show. Um, very much enjoyed it. Don't remember what my point was, but we're never doing it again. And <laughs> so comedy's dead. Uh, I don't know. You, you think there's gonna be like another resurgence in the middle of summer next year again? There might be. I don't know. Maybe with all the stuff we know now, maybe not. Yeah, but even if so, again, it's going to be completely. It's it's going to be packed. It's, it's going to be impossible to get many spots. I don't. I don't think exactly. Really You're gonna. We're gonna have to. And we have a lot of competition now. With what? With, you know. The Jews, what? <laughs> the Jews coming along, you know? No, I don't know. I just feel like uh, I don't know. I'm not excited for it, even though it's all I want. I'm also cursing it completely. Right. I mean, 
It's not exciting. You know, it's like it's exciting. The, the prospect of going back on stage is exciting. But the idea of like of like getting annoyed because other people are getting all this stage time yes. and I'm not. And I do not just miss, going through all that again. Yeah, ugh. I definitely don't miss just the jealousy of who gets what spot. You know, like like and, and why are they getting the fucking work and not me and all that shit. Definitely. Like the ones that I can like make sense of it in my mind never bothered me. But yeah. like the ones who are clearly better comedians than me, like sure, okay. But man, there's it's just some sometimes you just like look at lineups and you're like, what the fuck is this shit, man? We're getting all the online spots though. I'll tell you that <laughs> we're getting all those because of the podcast. Like we're as as as, yes. co- as t- on together for no reason, even though we would have maybe never been asked solo. But it's uh, well, the one that we're gonna do on Wednesday. I was supposed to do the last live one before everything went to shit last oh, March. Oh yeah, that one will be fun. I was supposed to do the last. Yeah, me too. I was on the last. I because I noticed in the messages that's the last one. Is yeah. from her talking about it right before COVID hit. That um. Yeah, that I was supposed to be on the show before oh, well. it all ended, before yeah. everything ended, <laughs> before we all died yeah, of yeah, COVID, yeah. before the new mutant stra- strain came along. Yeah, we're gonna be fucked forever, man. We're gonna have to live with this forever. Forever, you know it's fucked because because uh, now they're closing everything up again in the states, right, Mr. Biden, Mr. Mr. <laughs> Biden. B- yeah, Mr. Biden. Mr. Biden is gonna. Is gonna is closing it all up again, which I guess is the right move. Um, but it's just like for some reason, even though obviously it's the right move, it's it's even it's like scarier where you're like. Meanwhile, fucking, you heard Dave Chappelle got got COVID. Yeah, it's hilarious that he has like pictures from the night before of him <laughs> hugging everybody, no I masks. Know. They couldn't be closer. Him, Joe Rogan, Michelle Wolf, all these people. Uh, fucking uh, Elon Tesla, Musk or whatever, yeah. Uh, Elon Musk and his amazing hair and his uh, and his grimy girlfriend. <laughs> Um, see what I did there? Yes. Uh, and they're all right next to each other. But, like, it sucks because I think none of them got it. You really hoped all of them got it, you know? You would, like, hope, like, it would have just went, like, wildfire amongst them. Right. I, because I these know. fucking think... celebrities are just living their goddamn lives <laughs> like it's every day <laughs> <laughs> and telling us to calm the fuck down. I know, man. I can't uh, can't wait for it to be, like, I mean, actually, you know what? I've noticed recently because today was the first day that I've had blinds or curtains in my bedroom because they finally fucking shipped and arrived oh, congratulations. Here. And, but the truth is, though, like, what are you worried about? Like, the, to have blinds. Uh, like, why do you need blinds? I mean, for the sun. Oh, okay. To right. sleep, because oh, I've noticed right, recently right. that the sun's been like before. I could sleep until seven, and it was still dark out. But now the sun's been poking out. At, right, because your window, like your window, is like an huge. entire it's wall. It's whole fucking right? wall. Yeah. So it's, it's a like, door <laughs> too. It's not just a window. There's a door. Is it cold around it? No, it's great. Oh yeah. This is the best place I've lived in ever. It's great. I love it. You happy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. That's great. Yeah, Amazing. good it's, for you. Uh, can't wait to have to have you guys over. We're not coming there. Are you <laughs> me? We're so I'm close. Sorry. No, I made it. I made a decision. Anybody who moves into a house will never see me again it's because not a that's house. what you it's get. A home. <laughs> Whatever. That's what you get for moving into uh, to an affordable place in an area that's rel- That's that's a little annoying to me. Is that's what you get? Like my friend was like, he's like, and you know, bro, it's only fifteen minutes away. I go, dude, you're never seeing me again. What are you talking about? He's like, he's like, it is fifteen minutes from St. Henry. I go, it's across the bridge. You know very well, people who live in Montreal do not cross the bridge for anything. Uh, you know, I'll see you at uh, once a year. Are you a, counting a, the Monk Bridge across the canal as a bridge? <laughs> You, you went to my old le- place across Charlotte. What the? F- eh? You a bit less, a yeah. bit less, but you know, still, you're probably you know across a fun. man-made body of water that's as <laughs> wide as like a, a Olympic-sized swimming pool. You have to pay some sort of price. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just, just get buy away a with it. place. <laughs> It's, a, it's so hard, man. I'm looking yeah. every day, nonstop. I feel more pressure every minute than if someone else finds a place. I'm dying. I just want something to do. So, like, just buying about, a place, moving into it, you know? What about I the really place I sent you? The, one I, the place I sent you? It seemed all right. I want a garage so bad. You want a garage? Man. I want a garage so I can put my tools out and build a shitty what fucking, fucking what, spice how many rack that's going to fall apart. Can, what'd you say? <laughs> I want to build a spitty, a shitty spice rack that's gonna fall apart. Right. You know, like okay. I want to like, I want to live. I want to like. A, I was showing some houses in Versailles to to my to my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, and, to Carl. And, <laughs> to Carl. That's what my bubby called my girl. My, my my poor bubby. She's so bad with names, and always for some reason she comes out. She's like, send my love to Carl. <laughs> I'm like Carl. Every time it's Carl. Oh, my little sister calls her Carl all the time because it's so funny when she's like, "Tell Carl I love him." <laughs> like, you also called him him. You that's a double mistake. Yeah. Um, no, your girlfriend Carlita, the Latina. 
Yeah, so she knows that like all the houses I was sending her pictures of like have such si- like seventies vibes. Like I really think I'm a seventies dad. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I'm ready to like step into those short shorts and just like <laughs> let my hairy chest glow and just be yeah. like I don't know. Uh, but I it's definitely the idea of like the more and more I think of spending five hundred thousand dollars on two bedrooms. Whoa, it's, you're it's, divulging your fucking price range over here. Eh? How much well, money does this guy have? It's pretty much the. It's like everyone in our age group has the exact same price. Yeah, range. I know it's fucking nuts. If you're listening in Toronto, imagine we said eight hundred thousand or one point yeah. five million dollars is what you imagine. Yeah, that's like the six hundred mark here kind of thing, and uh, it's. I actually, think it's literally double. Uh, li- like for ha- for a home in Toronto is literally double what you would pay here. And our salaries wouldn't be double. No, no, no. It's about, like, I have the salary grid from work. They don't make that much more. Like, the cost of living adjustment is not that much more than what we have here. Right. Yeah. Like a like a, like a a car blow job on the corner is the same here as it is there. So you'd make the same, right? It's not like... Like, if you make like, a... Hey, it's Toronto. <laughs> it's 25 now. <laughs> I have to cross the Dawn Valley Expressway to get this blow job. You better fucking believe... You think it's easy to tuck in for five hours? Come on, $25. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, buy a fucking place, dude. Okay. Yeah. Okay. On it. Um, on it. Uh, yeah, I, I think the idea also of just being able to park my car really makes a big difference to me also. Yeah. I mean, what are you going to do? You know? I really, it's this, it's not even worth a lot of it, but, and a lot of real estate agents have told me that I'm being a fucking child. Like, who gives a shit? Like, but no you want, like, an indoor parking? You wouldn't need No, a, not even just, indoor. Okay, just like a fucking slab of gravel. Yes, like somewhere where the city doesn't yell at me that I have to move my car because they're, because, or I get a ticket in the next five minutes. Yeah. Whenever the fuck they want. I'm yeah, so yeah. sick of this shit, of like the of fucking. The snow. Remember and now them? they decide, you know what they decide? They're like, we're, look, your street's too narrow. We're going to remove the snow on both sides at the same time. So, <laughs> so you all you have to park. move? So you all have to move at the same <laughs> time. And we're going to do the entire block at the same time. So on also, all five it's, streets. It's 2 p.m. and you're all working from home. So you all have to take an hour off from work. Dude, it's fucked. That's I have to go. Like, now I'm at the point where I have to go like, uh, like I'm going to have to. My friend has a parking spot who's moving. The one that I just was talking about but when he so i park there if i need it but when they move i'm gonna have to go to the metro and park at the metro the, at the, the subway. subway station you mean yeah, like the and, metro, then, yeah okay. and then and then walk home and I, I like the idea of leaving my car in a subway parking lot overnight is not okay not in this neighborhood not okay no it's true eh? i don't need to get this in this fucking neighborhood people's always smacking fucking car like the rear view windows <laughs> rear view mirrors no, okay not, they're not the rear view mirrors what are they called the side, side mirrors yeah I don't know. side mirrors it's, yeah uh yeah just today i saw one of these like uh like school guard crossing people they have like mm-hmm. their little yellow vests on dude yeah. the biggest parking spot you've fucking ever seen okay he's pillow parking he's got a nissan versa which is the size of my desk and yeah. he manages to hit both fucking cars in front and behind him. He's got enough room to park a fucking F-150. And he just go like, it's almost as though he used the cars to line himself up to know whether or not he was going to fit in the space. You know what I mean? So I'm at two years now and I, of I driving? if anything, if anything has improved, it's def- it's my parking for sure. Like if yeah. I, if I could give anything to be like, okay, it's gotten better. Um, but uh, for the first little while, I've like just accepted that my bumpers will be used. Yeah. Always. They are my camera. Like, you know that beep, 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 beep sound when you're close? Mine's... <laughs> that's, that's the beep, beep, beep sound you're too close is the sound of me hitting the other car slightly. Yeah. Like, that's that's I got used to. And just yesterday, I went to go park. It was snowing, and, like, I was, like, in a rush. I'm like, I'll just park in this spot. It's huge. I have so much space. And for some reason, on my reverse, I just, like... Like, I don't even know what the hell. Like, I haven't done it in so long. But for some reason, I just went too fast. And then, like, got a little bump. And, like, I So you're admitting my... to it on the podcast that yesterday you had a hit and Yeah, run. fully. I, I, ch- I left a note on his car. <laughs> oh, okay. At least you left I note. chipped my paint. There was okay. nothing on his car. Nothing visible. He didn't even call me. Uh, so I don't think he's going to be put on, uh, putting it on. There's nothing to put on. So. Okay. Um, oh, that's nice but, of you. Uh, Look at you. Yeah, I went to go, I went to go get my Japanese knife sharpened. That's what I went. Uh, that's what you do in quarantine because you're yes. so goddamn bored. Uh, you're like, hey, <laughs> what's, so, get my, uh, what's, sorry, what's so special about these Japanese knives? Do they uh, do they uh, are they extremely fat and wrestle each other in the middle of a circle? Huh? Yes, that's, that's, precise, <laughs> that's precisely it. No, they. Um, I don't know. What's they, they smoke cigarettes crouched in an alley. <laughs> that's that's not Japan, do. I don't think. That's most, oh, that's that's mostly more China. Ch- 
China. Those are yeah. Chinamen. Okay. All right. so, <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. They take us out. They take the blade and they stick it into their stomach yes, and pull it go. to the side. And Harry what is that Kari, called? Seppuku. Harry Seppuku. That's what I had. I wrote that tweet about uh, finding out that Mac DeMarco is not Italian Canadian and committing seppuku with like a soppressata sausage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. That's funny. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so I got my jab, and I hadn't taken it out in a while. Like, I worked at, uh, I don't know if I ever mentioned, I worked at a restaurant for uh, several years. Yeah, okay. And um, my boss, when I finally left, and she's like, wow, th- congratulations, we thought you were going to die here. <laughs> yeah. Um, sh- she got me uh, a really nice knife as my going away present. And we're talking like a, like a crazy knife. knife One knife. knife. One knife, which is in the hundreds of dollars. Right. Several hundreds of dollars. <laughs> yes, fractions of a thousand. Yeah, it's a beautiful knife, though. It, I'm like sure. when I first got it, I was afraid to use it at first because it, it cuts so like you didn't. There was no you didn't feel any resistance on anything right. you touched. You know, so it makes you nervous. Like if you cut yourself, you would literally you go an entire day before even feeling it. You know right, what I mean? Right. Like you've bled over half the world and then you're like, oh wait, I cut myself. That's a you great know, knife. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how fucking smooth it is. Like my girlfriend the other day we went to, like outside to cut like some like, not the other day, it was nice outside. But yeah, went outside it's to cut minus some, 40 outside. Yeah, what are you talking yeah, about? Actually, <laughs> I was like, this. Oh, it's being revealed that my, the other, my, my comedian's the other day is being found out yes. to be false. But she was going to cut some, like you know, some rosemary out of the out of the herb garden in the back, and uh, the knife slipped, like sl- like slipped and like hit her, and no. did nothing to her because that's how shitty our knives are. <laughs> right, okay. it's like they're like butter knives, you know. So she like didn't even cut herself. Um, but uh, so I got this knife out, and like I I remembered, and I was like, oh yeah, I saw a post on Facebook from somebody like, hey, we sharpen knives in Saint Henry. So I took it out and I showed it to my girlfriend. I'm like, did I ever show you that I have an original Hattori Hanzo? And she goes, no. <laughs> I'm like, I can't. I don't know what just happened here. <laughs> I'm like, either you know Kill Bill and you knew that that was a reference, or you, I just, you just were impressed by the words Hattori Hanzo. <laughs> okay, like, I didn't know like, what you're talking about. Dude. Yeah, I had no idea what you were talking about, but that just sounds super impressive. So I was like, no, it's not real. But it is really a beautiful knife, and he just finished sharpening it and fixing it, and it cost obviously like forty five dollars more than he told me it was going to cost when I met him, you know? Yeah. Like every, t- he was like emailing me back every 20 minutes like, oh, I noticed this too. We should also have to fix that. It'll be another whatever. But um, I have to go pick it up. Tomorrow. So you went to a, a real blacksmith from Forged in Fire. Yeah. He's, he's like testing a knife out on pig carcasses in his basement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. He's like a sweaty man. He doesn't wear a shirt. There's hay all around him for no reason. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, D'Artagnan just... was behind him <laughs> working on his new blade. Yeah. Uh, but I, um, I was thinking, uh, like, <laughs> wouldn't it be a badass scene in like an action movie if you like, if like you go get your knife sharpened or you go get your your gun sharpened and then you and then you yeah, get your gun <laughs> sharpened and you stab to death with it and then you get out of there and you just sh- and then you're like thank you very much and then you just shoot him and then you just right. <laughs> <laughs> Stab it. Like imagine the guy was like, "Here's your knife. It's beautifully sharp. It's amazing. It's perfect." And you go, "Oh, sweet!" <laughs> you just cut his finger off. He's like, "What the fuck?" And I'm like, "Well, you did a good job." I'm a psychopath. I don't know what to tell you. Speaking yeah. of psychopaths, what? You? I had dinner with your mother yesterday. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> I was watching that. Uh, you ever see um the TV show The Act? No. What is that? Or the documentary Mommy Dead and Dearest? No. Oh wow! You you should watch it because I feel like it's it's more worthwhile. Like I don't want to give it away. You should just watch it. Like either one of those, you should watch either the documentary, the HBO documentary, "Mommy Dead and Dearest," or the show, uh, "The Act." It's a true story based on um, what's it called? Um, Munch- Munchausen by proxy. Yeah, what is that? Is that uh, moms killing their kids because, or like slowly killing their kids because they wanna, they want the the, the sweet sweet empathy. Oh no, I it's, I thought it, it's like when you're hungry when you see food. <laughs> <laughs> Thank it's, you very much. Yeah. Uh, yes, it is. No, it's, but it's not Munchausen pro- by proxy is when you eat a <laughs> pussy but using a mirror as a reference. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go, Munch boxing by by proxy. Munch box by proxy. Uh, yeah, so um, it is about that. Uh, again, I think we we should talk about it once you watch it because it's okay, like, okay. make that your thing. You watch it this week. Hey, listeners, watch it this week if you haven't seen it. 
and come back next week when we mm. talk about it and we I'm discuss it and the zingers that are no you're not gonna fucking forget you got nothing else to do you understand I have so much to do like going to bed at 8.45 yeah exactly <laughs> you fucking loser okay okay relax relax okay uh, um, so I think I think uh, I think we've said it all <laughs> Yeah, La- Larry King's dead. Yeah. Oh, did you see that Norm clip on Larry King? No. Oh fuck it, man! It's so funny. It's like yeah. I don't want to ruin it because it's Norm, yeah. but I'll just say like I won't do like the full thing of it, but I'll just say the beginning of it. It's like Larry King's like Norm. Is there anything else you want to talk about? And he's, Norm's like, Yeah, I'm a deeply closeted gay man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do the rest of it, but it's basically Norm being like, I'm not saying I'm gay. I'm just saying I'm deeply closeted. <laughs> And it's Larry trying to figure out if he's telling the truth or not. Yeah, it's just a minute it's long, but it's so beautiful. It's so it's so funny. Never really liked Larry King. Yeah, because he was very Never really uh, cared. Eh? old. Just old and white and useless. He's not Jewish, was he? No, I don't think so. Such vibes, though. Just such Jewish vibes. Yeah. The posture. Little, he, the posture, but he's not whiny enough. Like he's he's a bit rougher when he talks. Well, no, that's Walter Cronkite. We used it. This well, is oh, no, you just again. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a Jew. <laughs> How do you only have one fucking impression that you can do? I am not a Jew. Um, <laughs> and that's the only <laughs> thing you can say about it, too. Uh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, uh, yeah I love the Seinfeld, the, the Seinfeld clip. Is oh, awesome. the Seinfeld clip, too, is fucking awesome. It's like, so that's you guys got cancelled, right? <laughs> And I've never seen him. I've never seen Jerry like so like annoyed. Like he's yeah. really mad at, yeah, the, at the what's the word in in the intonation at that, the connotation at the uh, connotation. Sounds no, right. not connotation at the infer at the masturbation. Yes, flatulation at the, the inferral. Is that a word? The inf- oh yeah, well, I, I like that. To, the to, doctor said I'm infernal. <laughs> <laughs> Your balls, when you jack off, it's just dust. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like when the roadrunner runs away. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's good. Yeah. Meep, meep. meep. Um, <laughs> that's, what make, that's the sound it makes when you come, too. Yeah. Oh, meep, meep. I was watching the Seinfeld clip, and then it queued up another clip, which is probably one of my one of the best clips ever. I think I actually talk about it on that other podcast we love, but uh, Kramer's Apology on, um, on, on Letterman. Did you ever see that? I don't remember. I don't remember if I have actually. Whatever. It's 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 Jerry on Letterman, right? And Jerry went on Letterman so that Kramer could come on and <laughs> yeah. apologize for saying the N word a million times live. You know that classic classic apology right. that everyone's yeah. done once or twice. The classic um, classic bit. And... He wrote. He, you know he worked on that bit for months and months, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he worked. He workshopped it at open mics. <laughs> there was not a single ounce of fat on that bit. Say what you will about the content, yeah, yeah, it but, was perfect. but boy, did he just yeah. narrow it down to the precise wording he wanted to say. Talk about word economy, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. This not at all. <laughs> it's so great, and so and so they so Jerry gets on, and he's just he's literally on the couch, or on this right next to Letterman, and he's like he's like uh, I want to take this opportunity to bring on my friend uh he wants to apologize for what happened this week but they don't mention what happened because they just expect i guess everyone to know but the audience doesn't know and they're just the second kramer comes on and he's on a like a skype kind of thing the second he yeah. comes on everyone's just like starts to giggle okay and then he starts <laughs> talking about the things he said and that he's sorry and everyone's laughing their asses off the whole time and jerry's like it's not funny <laughs> it's not funny he's like freaking out that's great but kramer's just so funny that he can't even do anything real without people just laughing right. their face off the whole time it's what it's a great clip it's very very it's one of the most unsuccessful apologies i've ever seen in my life it's 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 very warranted oh that's fantastic all right well i'm not gonna play with note. fire with all the audio yeah uh you're gonna have to do some work around the 57 minute mark uh for the editing Okay, That's thanks for I'm mentioning that on the podcast, too. <laughs> That's yeah. good. That the, we use that for the podcast, too. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Friendship, friendship, friendship. Oh, well, okay.